Good afternoon, everyone. Now we are going to the next uh, next step, next exercise of arithmetic progression. Ex exercise is uh, 5.2. Listen, students. All are. I think all uh, all are very happy and uh, having good health and uh, i am working hard uh, for uh, making the video so please like and subscribe uh, like and subscribe and share my video so that uh, uh, so that uh, i will be encouraged so now question number 9 if the third and ninth term of an ap are 4 and minus 8 respectively which term of ap is 0 so question number 9 so solution C the third term of an AP A3 is 4 and ninth term of an AP is minus 8 now we have to find out which term of an AP is 0 which term means which term is written means n we have to find so let nth term is equal to 0 let us suppose and we will have to find n so a9 is equal to a plus 9 minus 1 8d is equal to minus 8 suppose this is 1 and a3 is equal to 4 means a plus 2d is equal to 4 so a plus 2d is equal to 4 so this is taking a second equation so write write down here the second equation now after elimination of a 6 d barabar minus 12 so d is equal to minus 2 now we will find out d we have calculated so by substitution a plus 2 d from the equation 2 is equal to 4 a plus 2 into minus 2 is equal to 4 so a minus 4 is equal to 4 so a is equal to 8 so this is the second one so now we will have to find which term so let n term is equal to 0 so a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 0 so a we have calculated 8 n we don't know we have to find out and d is we have calculated minus 2 is equal to 0 so now here in this box I am writing n minus 1 into minus 2 is equal to bring 8 in this side so it is minus 8 minus 2 it is 4 times so n is equal to bring minus 1 in this side so 4 plus 1 so fifth term so it means that the fifth term of an arithmetic progression is zero so i think it is clear and you can verify also so now question number 10 i am coming uh, the solution will be solution c the seventh term of an ap 17th term of an ap exceeds its tenth term by seven 17th term a 17 is equal to a 10 exceeds by 7 is is more than by 7 so by 7 so it is 7 so we will have to find out the common difference so a 17 is equal to a plus 16 d is equal to a plus it is 10 minus 1 so 9 d plus 7 so a a we can cancel 16 d minus 9 d bring 9 d in this side left hand side so it is 7d is equal to 7 so do the it will cancel 7 7 so a, a d is equal to 7 so it is the answer so it is a simple question so now i am coming to the next one which term of the arithmetic progression 3 15 27 39 will be 132 more than its 54th term so now solution 
the AP is 3, 15, 27, 39 and so on. The first term is 3 and common difference we can find 13 minus 3 so it is 12. Now we have to find which of the term so n we have to find out which term so let nth term is equal to a54 a54 means uh, 54th term nth term will be 132 more than the 54th term so a n is equal to a54 54 term plus 132 according to question according to question according to question it is uh, uh, tell which term which term of this arithmetic progression is that 132 more than one uh, the 54th term so now nth term can be written as a plus n minus 1 into d and this is a plus 54 minus 1 into d plus 132 so here we can cancel a so n minus 1 into d which is equal to 53 d plus 132 so here we will bring this um, which term of this so first term is 3 it is uh, calculated already and uh, the common difference is 12 so put the put d is equal to 12 over here here n minus 1 into 12 is equal to 53 into 12 plus 132 so this will come it is given so 12 n minus 12 is equal to 12 3 36 3 12 5 60 so 63 6 3 6 plus 132 so 6 3 6 plus 132 it is 8 and then 6 7 700 and then bring here 12 in this side it is 768 plus 12 so 12 n is equal to it is equal to 0 and then 780 so it is uh, 12 is here so n is equal to 780 divided by 12 12 5 uh, 12 6 is 72 and then uh, we are getting 6 60 12 5 is 60 so it means that 65 therefore the 65th uh, term is 132 more than more than uh, 54th term so this is the answer we can cross check also so thank you now we are going to the next uh, ne next questions of this so now we are coming to the next one so here you just see question number 18 this is question number 18 so now we will do the question number 18 the question says that uh, the sum of the fourth term and eighth term, fourth term and eighth term of an arithmetic progression is 24. So, solution. So, accordingly, one sentence you will uh, study and uh, accordingly you will have to form the in the form of equation. A4 means fourth term and then A8 means eighth term is equal to 24 and the sum of sixth term sum of sixth term 
and tenth term is 44 sum of six terms so a6 and a10 is equal to 44 is given so it is given in the according to question these two equation we get so it is according to question a q i have written according to question so a4 means fourth term a plus 3d and a8 a plus 8 minus 1 in a 7d is equal to 24 so 2a plus 3 plus 7d it is equal to 10d is equal to 24 so you can divide uh, in all by 2 so we can divide so 2a plus 5d is equal to 12 or you can take 2 common here I am getting 3 so here from here a plus 6 term 5d plus a plus 9d 10 means 10 minus 1 into d is equal to 44 so 2a plus 14d is equal to 44 9d plus 5d is equal to 14d now divide both sides by 2 or you can take 2 common so a plus 7d is equal to 22 this is taken as equation number 4 now a plus 7d is equal to 22 this is 4 and a plus 5d is equal to 12 it is 3 so now subtract over here if you will subtract so it is 2d is equal to 10 a is equal to 5 a is equal to 5 a, sorry d is equal to 5 so now a plus 5d is equal to 12 it is equation 3 put the value of d over here so a plus 5 into 5 is equal to 12 a plus 25 is equal to 12 a is equal to 12 minus 25 it is minus 13 so a we have calculated minus 13 and d we have calculated this so now find the first three term of an ap first three terms we have to find out so now we will continue over here first three first three term so first term is a is equal to minus 13 then second term a2 is a plus d so 5 uh, plus and minus 13 so it is equal to 5 minus 13 so it is equal to minus 8 so second term is minus 8 and third term a3 is a2 plus d you have to just add by d okay so minus 8 uh, plus 5 it is equal to minus 3 so see the first term is a1 is equal to a means th minus 13 and a2 is equal to minus 8 and a3 is equal to minus 3 so see whether they are in arithmetic progression or not so they they are in arithmetic progression or not so minus 8 minus minus plus 13 so it is equal to 5 and if we will subtract minus th minus 8 from minus 3 we will get just checking i am checking so minus 3 plus 8 so it is equal to 5 so this is same so it means that our answer is correct the first term is uh, minus 13 second term is minus 8 and the third term is minus 3 so this is the answer i hope you will understand the question so now we are coming to the next one question number 19 of exercise uh, 5.2 exercise 5.2 uh, 5.2 of uh, ncrt book mathematics books class 10 now here question says that subbara started the work in 1995 at an annual salary of rupees 5000 
so rupees 5000 is the annual salary and received an increment of rupees 200 in each year means every year his the salary is increased by rupees 200 5000 salary is fixed in which in which year did his income reach to 7000 so let solution let in nth year his income reach reaches to 7000 therefore an is equal to 7000 we will write and the first term is given 5000 rupees it is the first term and the increment common increment common difference it is equal to 200 rupees so an is equal to 7000 this can be written as a plus n minus 1 into d so it is equal to 7000 a is equal to 5000 plus n minus 1 and d in place of d you substitute 200 it is 7000 it is 7000 so n minus 1 into 200 is equal to 7000 minus 5000 so n minus 1 into 2000 is equal to 200 is equal to 2000 we will cancel here so it is 10 times so n minus 1 is equal to 10 so n is equal to 11 we will bring one this side so therefore in 11th year means 11th 11th year year his income income or increases to uh, 7000 so just we have to verify here so check checking in the examination you can check also so see a 11 is equal to what a plus 11 minus 1 in 10 d a is equal to it is given 5000 and 10 into it is 200 is the annual increment so 5000 rupees plus 2000 rupees so it is 7000 so rupees 7000 so in 11 11 year his income increases to 7000 rupees so verified so our answer is correct so this is the answer so now leave the video so now uh, please like and subscribe my channel thank you and uh, remaining questions if uh, one or two questions i have not done i i will do right now uh, so uh, so please uh, share this video as well as uh, you will see the whole video till end thank you with pen and pencil